Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beat Down with me, Michael, your fairly decent, incredible host. So, if you've kept up with my videos this week, you know that my routine has changed up uh, for this week and possibly for the next maybe six weeks, if I can make myself do it. What I'm doing is I'm taking one movement per body part and that's what I'm doing only for the workout. Monday was my legs. I used my compact hack press only. Tuesday was chest. I used my Smith machine for chest pressing only and only flat. Uh, yesterday was arm day, bicep and tricep. And the only thing I did for those was bicep concentration curls and uh, tricep skull crushers with the uh, with one dumbbell, two hands over, and uh, laying down. So today, what I'm going to do, and I had to make the tough decision of figuring out what I was going to do, because if I'm looking at doing this for the next six weeks, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next six weeks. So <clears throat> today, what I'm doing is I've decided, uh, today's shoulder day, so what I've decided to do for my one movement today, and really uh, kick butt on it, is uh, sitting dumbbell shoulder presses. And uh, yeah, it was a tough choice between standing uh, easy bar presses and uh, Smith machine presses, but I figure on chest day, I'm already using the Smith machine. Let's go ahead and do free weights. So then it was between dumbbells and uh, easy bar. Uh, I don't have a, a regular bar really that I can use in here. So I use the easy bar for my deads and for any other type of stuff, bent rows, uh, anything, uh, anything I do. So anyway, today we're gonna do sitting dumbbell shoulder presses and I'm not gonna video the entire workout. I'm just gonna uh, maybe record one set and that's just to give you an idea of what I'm doing and kind of how I'm doing it and you know, maybe uh, just show you my technique if it's any different than the other 10 million techniques, which it's probably not. So uh, anyway, uh, my reasoning, and I'm gonna kind of keep spilling uh, my guts here, but my reasoning for doing this is, in my opinion, now I don't have scientific proof, but in my humble opinion, if you're doing three, four, five different movements for say your shoulders, how do you know what that one movement is doing for your shoulders, you know? Uh, and it, so whenever you do something like this and you just do one movement, you really know what it's hitting and how it's hitting it. And maybe you're going to see growth or maybe you're going to see details and maybe you're going to uh, feel a feeling that you've never felt. So that's the reasoning behind my one movement per body part to really utilize that movement and to really uh, target the muscle that that movement itself is actually doing. So anyway, let's get started. We're gonna, I'm gonna eat my hair real quick. Um, I probably won't film until I get to the heavy weights. Uh, I only have dumbbells up to 50 and then I go to 80 and then I have 100. So uh, my, my heavy dumbbell presses are 80 pound dumbbells, which are pretty heavy for me. So uh, uh, I'll probably wait to film until I get there so you can see the struggle. Or I might do one set with a little bit with maybe 50s that way you can see better technique and form because my 80s can sometimes look a little or you know all right so let me quit talking quit talking let's get to work ah. I'll show you with some 35s here now for me I like tucking my elbows in because I have bad arms so I tuck my elbows in to my body and then I kick them up that way they're nice and stable Here comes the part in a workout where you go heavy and your form isn't great, 
but you go heavy to get stronger. So these are what my 80s are for. And they hurt getting them into place because of my bad arms. So. So I only got nine. Usually I'll get a set of 10, then usually a set of eight, and then maybe a set of six and four, or maybe another six or something like that. But eh, I'll take it, I'll take the nine. Now I am gonna do uh, probably three more sets with the 80s. So, Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. You see kind of what I'm talking about. Take one movement per body part and stick with that one movement uh, for maybe six weeks, eight weeks, and just kind of see what it does for you. Try something different. And then once you've done that, you can try something else. You could even do, the, do that routine again and pick a different movement for that body part. Hey, it's a, it's a good way to find out what each movement kind of does for each body part. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the little video. I uh, hope you checked out my new video that I uploaded just a few minutes ago uh, where I got my new gym accessories. That was pretty cool. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. Go check out his YouTube channel. He's a pretty cool dude, strong, uh, strong, crazy man. Uh, he cooks a lot of good food. He has a lot of good knowledge, and uh, he's a seems like a really cool guy to me. I've uh, been connected with him now for a few days, and uh, I really enjoy watching him. And uh, I like the positivity that he puts out there. And uh, yeah, anyway, he's a good guy. Check him out, Mac. Bean Scottish Fitness. M-A-C Bean Scottish Fitness. Have you got it? Okay. Guys, thanks for watching another episode of The Body Beat Down with me, Michael, your crazy incredible host. Whew. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Be an inspiration to someone today, tomorrow, next week, next year, including yourself because you matter more than anyone else in the world. All right? We'll see y'all later. I'm going to continue killing my delts. See ya. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!